So this year, I'm really taking the time to get to know myself. Like, who is Kelly, really? And so far, I've discovered that Kelly is someone who loves to climb on things and will eat pineapple until her tongue goes numb. This is really deep stuff I'm sharing with you. Yeah, I know. Um, so everyone else my age has graduated from college and has a job and a significant other with whom they're planning a future. And I'm over here like, hey guys, look how high I can jump. <laughs> but it's okay, you know? Just, I want to be kind and lovable, but I also want people to respect and fear me, but like in a healthy way. Because everyone's always telling me what to do. Like, Kelly, don't talk so loud. Kelly, buy some silverware. <laughs> Kelly, get off that fire truck. <laughs> Fine. No, but it's okay, just be yourself and the world will adjust. Eventually. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, my friend just moved back to Israel and a few days before he left, I saw him walking in Midtown. So I ran over and gave him a big bear hug. Except it wasn't him. It was a very startled and confused stranger who kind of looked like him. So I told the stranger to have a wonderful day, and then proceeded to hug a few more strangers. You know, so it wouldn't seem weird. Because it's not enough to be a one-kid awkward parade. I'm really dedicated to maintaining my title of Supreme Ruler of the Awkward Kingdom. <laughs> I spend a lot of time uh, training Israeli self-defense with Krav Maga experts, and I'm starting to pick up some useful Hebrew phrases. So when I eventually find myself in Israel, I'll have the vocabulary of a particularly rude, violent soldier <laughs> who can also sing songs about dreidels made of clay. <laughs> Whereas in French, I can say things like, Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Will you sleep with me tonight? Uh, Ménage à toi, threesome, and ne me quittez pas, don't leave me. So in French, I have the vocabulary of a clingy prostitute. <laughs> it's really dark in my apartment because all the light bulbs have burned out, and I was going to change them. But I realized if I fall and break my neck, everyone at my funeral is going to be telling this great joke. Hey, how many Kellys will it take to change a light bulb? More than one, apparently. Because if my last words aren't oops or uh-oh, they'll probably be, wait, what? <laughs> um, I found $136 when I cleaned my apartment yesterday, because I've been hiding money for myself. So I'm like, hey, wouldn't it be fun to find this later? Well, yeah, but wouldn't it also be fun to pay the electric bill now? <laughs> What's the point of paying the electric bill if you won't change the light bulbs? <laughs> this next one's great. Let me see if I can remember it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Last week, I watched a woman on the subway reach into her pocket pull out a slice of pizza, take a bite, and then slide it back into her pocket. <laughs> but I didn't judge her. I judged myself. Like, what is wrong with me? Why don't I have pizza in my pocket? <laughs> this woman has a literal pizza pocket. Maybe more than one. Maybe all her pockets are full of pizza. I don't know. It's like a hand warmer that you can eat. <laughs> and what do I have in my pockets? Like, my phone and my wallet, my keys. This rock my dog gave me for Hanukkah. I can't eat any of these things. But I'm on a healthy diet. No gluten, no dairy, no sugar, no happiness. You know the one. So the other night I had some mac and cheese, but it was gluten-free macaroni and vegan cheese. So really it is neither mac nor cheese. I guess I'm much healthier when I have no idea what I'm actually eating. But you know what is gluten-free? Drugs are gluten-free. A strict diet of Valium and marijuana. No gluten, no dairy, no sugar, so much happiness. If we put terrorists on this diet, instead of making bombs and kidnapping tourists, they'd all be happy just chilling in the desert like, hey man, look how high I can jump. So the other day, I was looking for someone to hate. And I, <laughs> it happens sometimes, guys. I came across the Westboro Baptist Church and their website, which is www. 
godhatesbags.com. <laughs> Gotta remember to clear the browser history later. <laughs> so, uh, the Westboro Baptist Church, there's this section on their site about 144,000 Jews who will repent for murdering Christ and be saved from eternal damnation. So I decided to send them an email. Dear Westboro Baptist Church, I'm Jewish, and I was wondering if I made it onto the list of Jews to be saved. Just curious. Looking forward to your reply. Thanks. Love, Kelly. They have not responded. <laughs> There's also, um, they're on their site, they were talking about how angry they are because uh, the Antichrist bloody beast Obama has teamed up with Israel, a nation of sinners engaged in sodomy and abortion. And I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure sodomy does not lead to abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much.